Alright, hello everyone. Um, I just want to quickly show you something from what I observe from one of you that have just sent me the um, PDF printing. I already noticed um, there was a bit of an error which you can easily correct. So when you want to do PDF printing for a project manager or for anyone to review, you want to make sure your activities information or detail section and the Gantt is on the same side in this case the detail section for this page is in the bottom of the page when it was trying to do the PDF so there is a way you do the setting that they're gonna be side by side like this so it's easy for them to trace what Gantt of activities you're showing so but in this case i will be going up and down i can't even trace it so i can't even look at this yet because there's nothing for me to look at yet but it's a good effort i really appreciate that somebody was able to submit at the end of the day you know even though it's gonna be a lot of um, time before i can review it so yeah i'm sure you how you can have it this way so i've opened my project just a project i'm only showing you the printing so this is a project you want to print the first thing you want to save it in pdf before you send it to the person so you go to file and you go to print preview and you look at it so straight on is showing me because i've already set mine that is why it's just show me side by side and it's just page one but i will demonstrate how i set it to be in this say your method again i go back you go to your file you go to your print preview and you look at it that way okay and then you click on this corner side which is print page and you go to option first if your option is fine and you have set what your time scale is going to be from this is the project start and the project finish so the time start time scale i want it to be on project start start um, time scale finish time scale I want to be on the project so the start date to finish date that is what I want it to reflect I'm happy with it you go back to page click on page and you will see this so in a in that case where the person has the Gantt drop down what you need to do is to come to this adjust okay and you reduce this number okay that is number one thing you can do to reduce the number and then when you reduce the number and before then let me go back one step you need to set the time and the date section on this okay on this your gantt i know you see you can see how i'm moving it so i'll show you how i'm moving it so if you you can see it has two steps there's step one the step two so when you're on this step one you will just be collapsing it so look at my cursor again as i'm approaching it when i get there it will show a circle you need that circle if you saw a finger that means you are on the top one which is going to be moving it in and out you can see this blue line that is your data line it's going to be moving it in and out okay it's moving it in and out but if you come to the circle which is the bottom one you see as soon as i go to the top one you change the finger you come this way so it will be zooming like that so you need to kind of zoom it a bit for you to see this one then to set the date up here you right click put your cursor in here right click and you go to time scale click on time scale and it will show you how you can set the two that you need is this one and you need this one as well to show where you want it to start so in this case i want it to be on a project start date okay so it will reference this project start date to this calendar i want it to be on calendar you don't need to change it but i want it to be on a, instead of months and weeks i want it to be on a years and months so what this control is that how the date here is going to line up 
just look at what's going to happen now if I change it to years and month. We'll be watching what will happen here. Currently, you have months and weeks because this A, S, O, whatever represent month and weeks. This is January, February, March, April, May, June, July month, and the numbers here represent the weeks of the month. Okay, if I want it to be years and month, you will see what's going to happen if you click apply. You see, has changed so years and month. Okay, so you have years and you have month. That's what you want to show there. So I think I'm happy with that. What I want to do next is if you take your cursor up, I want this to. I first of all wanted to move this date back. So what you need is to go to the top and move this blue line back here. Then I want to compress it. If you want to compress it, you need, you can see the circle, you drag it, compress. That's it set up. So I'll go back to my file and I'll go to my print. This is already set. So, but in your case, in the case of this one, to get it to look like this, what you need to do is to go to page setup and you click on adjust to and you compress that. The more, when you finish compressing it, you come back and click on feed time scale. Then it will show you feed time scale. That means you want time scale and everything to fit into one page so it won't be dropping down. But if you leave it here, it will continue to adjust, but if it cannot fit, it will drop the rest down because you haven't instructed to find a way to fit. But if you click here, you have told him that irrespective of whatever, I want you to fit into it, please. So when you click on it, you fit into it, and you click OK, and here you go. That's it. And you, after you finish that and it's fit into one scale, you want to save it into your system now. I have done what is generic. This one is specific because it's up to you. How you want to save it is your choice. Where you save it is your choice. But in my case, I normally save it into my folder. So now I've finished setup. I want to save it as PDF. You go to this printer. You click on it and you will drop down and go to Microsoft Print to PDF. You look for it on this line. Microsoft print to PDF and you click OK. Then it will take me straight into where I normally save mine because I've already set it. If it doesn't take you there, you can look for your own and set your own to where you save it. It's up to you. So that is how I did it. That makes me get this set up. So I hope you understand. So I will need you to go back and reserve this to be in this format because I can't read the program with the way it's been saved. Thank you very much. Right, cheers.